Howard, you uh, end your column this way, but the Lakers are living for today for the thrill of James Davis alley oops and the promise of another finals run or three. James made the Lakers rele- relevant again. Davis makes them legit. It'll take much more to make them champions. What do they need? Uh, players, <laughs> the rest of a roster. Uh, yeah, they've got, they've really got three players, you know, uh, LeBron, Anthony Davis, which is a pretty nice start and Kyle Kuzma. But look, you need shooters, you need defenders, you need, uh, you know, bigs who can rebound and protect the rim. And you just, you need a roster. What Toronto just showed us is that it, you know, as I also wrote, it takes a village. And I think I might've stolen that line from somebody else. Um, <laughs> But you you need you need role guys, high level role guys, high level veteran role guys, and LeBron knows that better than anyone because he's the guy went to eight straight finals and he's won championships. So where are you going to find your Shane Battiers and Rashard Lewis's and Ray Allen's? Where are you going to find you know your uh, I, I hesitate to say your J.R. Smiths? Um, you have gotta have some. <laughs> yeah. So you've gotta you've gotta have a supporting cast that functions. You can't just say, well, you know what. Buy one more max guy if you can get to the room, um, and then just fill it out with minimums. That's a really tough road to go. And what this team needs is maybe you know a Danny Green, a Marcus Morris, you know both of whom are free agents, a Patrick Beverly, maybe a Taj Gibson. Those are the guys you need, and you can't just assume you're going to shop in the bargain basement and get a bunch of minimums. Those guys are going to command you know decent mid-range salaries. So I think whether they've got 23 million under the current scenario, whether they get to 32 million if they can rework this and, and get the timing right, whatever the the number is, I think you spread it around three, four, maybe five players and 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 get that rest of that cast because you're going to need I mean, like I say, it's it's everything. They need everything except for the two forward spots or alternatively, you know, maybe Anthony Davis is playing small ball center and LeBron's the four. Whatever it is, you have a lot of openings on that roster. And you also have – you have to build in time for this roster to kind of mesh. We've seen this with teams before. It happened with the Heat when Le- LeBron went there where you get, you know, three stars together and it takes a little – at least half a season, sometimes a full season to get – acclimated with each other of what you do, when you do it, how you do it. And plus, Anthony Davis is now going to be playing in important games. He's going to be in the spotlight now, whereas in New Orleans, nobody cared what he was doing on a nightly basis, at least league-wise. Now everybody cares what he's doing in every single game. And I think just having that media onslaught there is going to be interesting. If you get Kemba Walker, who has not had this in Charlotte, you come in, and it's LeBron's team. You're coming into Los Angeles. Expectation levels are through the roof. I, I also – you got to factor that in as well. Absolutely agree on all counts. And, you know, Anthony Davis has never been in a spotlight like this. Anthony Davis is kind of a low-key dude. Um, How is he going to handle – that every day now he has the benefit of lebron taking a lot of the burden in the spotlight and the the spokesman role so he doesn't have to do it all but seriously there's gonna be 50 people in his locker after every game after every practice every shoot around there's gonna be people surrounding him it, it's it's a, a like nothing he has experienced before and i know he's been in all-star weekend and all that that's once a year he's never been deep in the playoffs he's never been in la as as, as a focus of, of that market so that all matters uh, you're right about the, the supporting cast, too, that it's one thing to get that supporting cast and to build it and build it right, and we've never seen Rob Polinka do it. He's he's still a relative rookie. Can he pull that off? That's the skepticism I'm alluding to in the column. And then if he does, yes, now you need time for those guys to gel. But there is no time because LeBron's turning 35 in December, and everything is now. And that's always the case with LeBron, even when he was in his prime. So imagine just how ramped up the pressure and the expectations are in year one of LeBron and Anthony Davis together with LeBron coming off the the toughest year of his career in terms of injury and a brand new supporting cast around them that has to figure it all out. A brand new coaching staff led by Frank Vogel. There's a a lot. I mean, and and they're going to be, look, they were installed as championship favorites the second they got Anthony Davis. So, you know, that that's a lot of change and adjustment and figuring out on the fly for a team that people are expecting to go to the finals. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV, stream for free on BR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.